Yeah. Richard, um, tough defeat to take. How do you uh, reflect on that display? Yeah, well, I don't think I'll be spending too long um, dwelling over it. I thought Salford were, were outstanding today, probably the reason why they're at the top of this competition. Uh, they looked desperate, they looked uh, well organised, they, comp they competed well. I thought in the first 20 minutes I thought we were in, I thought we were in the game, I thought we were fighting, we were going set for set, in, in, you know, in the so-called arm wrestle. And um, just made a couple of couple of mistakes again in, in key areas at key times, which when you're playing against a very, very good Super League team, uh, they're going to punish you and they did. I was obviously disappointed about the scoreline. I think, I think we are a better team than the scoreline suggests. But the reality was they were in total control really, weren't they, from I'd probably say 17, 18 minutes. They were, they were there, I mean we scored first, we could not them for a while so that was good. We just couldn't kick on, I don't think we completed the set afterwards either, which we, you need to do really at this level. Mm. Where did it go wrong, as you mentioned, from that, from that really fast start? I mean, sort of one aspect of the game that you feel the team struggled with? Physicality, uh, the difference in, in, in skill levels between the two teams, I know. Um, the, 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 I thought the crowd were great today, both sets. I thought Salford brought a really good, strong contingent which added to the atmosphere. Obviously, we didn't give our, our fans a lot to sing about today, which, which I'm mindful of. Um, Jackson Hastings was very good, controlled the game, didn't it? I thought Nye Levels was very good as well at fullback. Um, physical, I think they, they dominated us physically. They didn't in the first half completely, they certainly did in the second half, and that's where they scored most of their points by getting us on a quick play of the ball and getting through. I thought we were unlucky with a couple of kicks that went up in the first half. Uh, I didn't think we'd get any, any calls in that first half. I thought a couple of tries were forward passes. But, you know, they, they, that's the scoreboard talking. We're always um, behind in that game and, and it looked like from, as I say, 17, 18 minutes we were going to get beat. I didn't think we'd get well beaten though. I know you want to be competitive in every game, but do you have to solve sort of Hold your hands up and say welcome to the opposition. You know, without a doubt. Like that. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, you, you know, they'll, they'll be saying we well, can play what's in front of you, but we didn't offer a lot today. And I spoke to Willie about that. Willie Pope, you know, we were at Warrington. We needed to be better today to make them better as well. Uh, for us, though, you know, we, we've got some players who haven't even played a lot in the Championship, never mind in the Middle Eights. Young Liam Cooper's just come in on loan, and he was playing in, in, in League One. Uh, and he's probably done 60, 70 minutes there against the full-time Salford team so we've got a young team they'll be learning from them experiences we lost two of our best performers over the last few weeks is Simon Griggs who's, who's been out, outstanding for us and Jordan Baldwinson two injuries uh, that doesn't help when you've got two players on the bench against a full-time team so they're rolling them on and off and we can't do that we're not in a position to do that uh, but that's the reality we, we, we said this last year Teams are, uh, are more physical. We need a stronger squad. We've got more numbers this week, uh, this year. Uh, we'll have to make sure that we manage them over the next few weeks. We've got a tough game next week. Is there any early diagnosis on the uh, Baldwin and Griggs injuries? Oh, Simon's got his, his stitched up again. Uh, it's like a pincushion. Simon's face. He's had a few <laughs> stitches over his career, but he puts his body on the line. Uh, fantastic for us. Um, Jordan has uh, another knee injury, uh, got his knee in the wrong place, but that didn't look good, he couldn't really walk off the field, could he? So that's a bit of a concern for us, so he'll, he'll probably have to add and, and Steve Tyner with, with, with knee injuries. The physical element of the game is, is hard to, to match, I think, for our part-time lads. Is that what it comes down to, obviously, full-time opposition? Fantastic players and our old players, as you mentioned earlier this week, against part-time championships. Yeah, that's the reality. But um, for us, we, you know, our spirit is, is is still there. We didn't give up. We didn't give up. We had some. There were some moments there where I could see our effort, and we're still working hard and trying to make it as difficult for the opposition. But we don't want we don't want some of them tries to become the norm. Acceptable, they weren't. We want to be able to be more clinical. We need to start building some more pressure. We've spoke about this over the last few weeks. Uh, I think we're learning a harsh lesson about turning the ball over, though, um, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing so much defending. You cannot, we are a good defensive team, on the whole. Obviously, the scoreboard doesn't suggest that uh, today, 
but even the coaches there, some of the opposition coaches were, were very complimentary about our, our attitude and effort. We need to get smarter though. How, how difficult is it to, to keep morale and confidence? Up when you, you know, when you, when you can slot it into the window a bit of the game. That's 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 the job, isn't it? You know, I, I, I win, boost morale. But even a performance, even that, if we can replicate what we did in that first twenty, we're not far off. Um, but you've got to remember that what's at stake for these teams that we're coming up against, they are desperate. I mean, Salford probably winning today and getting another one. That's them. Probably home and host, and they they knew that. And they uh, that you know they sensed an opportunity today and, and took it fully, 100%. We'll have the same next week against Hull KR. Uh, so we, we're meeting desperate teams. We've got to be a bit desperate as well. We don't want to we don't want to roll over. I didn't think we rolled over today. I thought there were some scores, as I say, that, that went against the grain. Really, we could have dealt with. There were some awful ones as well. Um, but our young players are learning, and our senior players will have to grow and start to lead, and that will, you know, and that, and that will happen. That will happen over the next few weeks. There's some, there's some good, some, lots of positives to come out of that. Uh, not, not in terms of the scoreboard, but in terms of effort and our attitude. Thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. Cheers. You're all professional, Jackson.